I look at it this way. If I didn't have the underlying support of the community and the people who have backed me up, and you've got no idea the things that people do for me, I wouldn't probably have had an OAM. It's a community effort. And I always try to impress that on people. It's not just my OAM, it's everybody's. It's, we're all inclusive. We've all achieved it. It's, it's been a mutual achievement. And I've been here since the early 1960s. We actually were politically compliant in the early days, the 1960s, where you went west and to develop the land. It was the growth paradigm in the context of farming, forestry, um, and uh, trying to make a, a living. We came down the rough limestone road from Portland and it was all the bush around us. It was the coast there with the roaring, you know, seas coming in, um, the river here. It was just, would you say, a little bit of Eden, if you like, and it suited us to perfection. We made the application for 319 acres and we were actually lucky enough we were the first ones to apply for it anyway, and uh, we succeeded in that application, and it was called the Crown Land Purchase Lease Grant. My husband, Horst, he was then, became Harry when we became naturalised in 63, and uh, we moved down here permanently December 65. We developed the land, we pushed over all those trees, but I've always been interested in nature, right from the very word go from when I was a kid. I did take actually a list of all the plants that were on the block before we raised the, the lot to the ground and uh, put in all the pastures and, and fenced it and completed all the requirements for this grant. I had a uh, younger son and then I had two more children in 67 and 69 and one of the first things I did was actually start up a mother's club at the school. And then I uh, actually uh, took over as secretary for the um, reformed Cemetery Trust. I also was one of the original members for the Tourist Association that's down here. The best achievement of course is the Nelson Coast Care because that was the one that was going to cause or help or create or at least get things moving to get people aware of the ecology of this area. Ecological literacy is absolutely important. If we are going to maintain a world in which we are going to be able to sustain a quality of life, then we need to have an understanding of the ecology. And that only just doesn't mean interactions with um, the soil and the microbes and, and plants and so on, but it's also the impacts of human activities. Every biological character that you can preserve is actually has a repercussion where it will preserve others. So we try to achieve as much protection of what we have now as much as we can. We've got people who didn't have that knowledge beforehand, now are armed with that knowledge and we are like a very interactive and supporting community. It is actually involving people and they've got a sense of belonging, a sense of achievement, a sense of pride. And I've seen this in some of our members. The OAM is a confirmation of the veracity of the work that the Nelson Coast Care has achieved over the last few years. It's an endorsement of uh, what we have achieved and what we are continuing to achieve. And hopefully it will progress into the future where we'll be able to draw more people into um, having an, a better understanding of the environment that they live in. There's still a long way to go. One of the, the um, confounding factors is always the funding. You can get some funding, but the, the um, maintenance funding is what needs to be brought into focus more. If you want to have more impact with a government agency and writing submissions, and I do a lot of those, I can use that OAM and hopefully that will give it more impetus, more wallop, if you like, to the fact that I have been acknowledged for the work I've done through my Nelson Coast care and doing all their efforts, they better sit up and take notice. A bit better anyway, hopefully. This caste system is so unique and the actual habitats and the flora and fauna that we have here, we've got a huge amount still of biological factors that we need to keep preserved.